Hi everyone, this is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations and today I'd like to uh, give you an example of what you can and cannot do when it comes to graphs and um, how you can convert them to use to make different sizes, that kind of thing. So I had a board member this week who had received a graph from somebody and the woman had told her that it was okay to take a graph that was created uh, basically at, at um, let's just call it 120 by 120 in the way of uh, measurements for rows and columns. And she told her, oh yeah, you can do it with a double crochet. That's fine. It'll change the size. What she failed to mention was that when you're looking at a graph, those squares are perfectly proportioned. So what I mean by that is, let me give you the little example here. So I guess this isn't really good because I had to draw it, but what happens is, is that each of these squares is, is identical. So when you're doing a single crochet, this is how much room it would take. When you're doing a double crochet stitch, this is how much room it would take. So if you take a graph and you do it all in single crochet, great, it's not a problem because the single crochet is exactly one size. So you would have it the same. So 120 by 120, we calculate the single crochet as approximately four per inch. So that would mean four per inch going this way and going this way. So this would be an inch worth of single crochet. The double crochet, however, is measured at uh, approximately half an inch. So if you're doing a project, now again, when I say half an inch, I mean a half an inch high. So if you're doing a project and you want to convert it to double crochet based on a graph that has been made with even squares, your project is going to be, instead of a square, I'm just going to use a pen, sorry. Instead of it being a square, each double crochet that you do will be like this. Now, the width of the double crochet is the same as a single crochet, but the height is not. So your project now went from being 120 by 120 to 120 by 240. So it's going to skew your project immensely, well, by double, because it's a double-heighted stitch. All right, this is really, really important. Now, having said that, if you were using the half double crochet in a block stitch, those are measured at half an inch, both in height and in width. So it's, it's very, very minimal that it's not quite an inch, but it does make a little bit of a difference, but still can work. You're not going to get that skewed being twice as high so it's important that you understand that you can't just take a graph and convert it. All right. The other thing um, to know is when you're doing a um, project that is 120 by 120, if you want to do it in the standard corner to corner double crochet, that would be a queen size. If you take that 120 by 120, but you want to use the corner to corner with a half double crochet, it now becomes a throw size because of the difference in the stitches. So if you wanted to do it in a single crochet, then it becomes four divided, or sorry, 120 divided by four, which is a 30 inch blanket and I don't have the measurements in front of me to know exactly what that is but that's I guess that could be kind of like a lap one um, I don't, again I don't have the measurements right in front of me but again so you could conceivably do those because they would be um, exactly the same stitch you're doing in a block stitch okay this issue here happens when you're using a single crochet or a double crochet the block stitches Basically, when you're doing them, whether it's double crochet, half double crochet, or the micro crochet, those end up being, um, the stitches end, end up being very even because they're blocks. So again, 
you can't convert from a single crochet project for a graph to a double. Your project will end up twice as high or tall as it's supposed to be, right? That's really important. Um, I hope that's helpful for you. I know that um, it's sometimes it's hard to understand it by just looking at paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do some stitches here. Let's move this out of the way so we get the contrast. So um, I've done just a, a, a chain and then just a row of single crochets. So I'm going to turn the project, then I'm going to start with a single crochet. The next one I'm going to do a half double crochet. And then after that, I'm going to do a double crochet. And because each of those stitches are different angles, <clears throat> I'm sorry, different sizes, what happens is it starts to creep up for size. All right. That's not a really good example. It's a little tight, but I am a tight crocheter. So I, I take that into consideration when I'm doing it. So basically you have the single crochet, the half double crochet and the double crochet, and it starts to go up from there. Now what I can do is I can do a treble crochet. And there we go. And it starts creeping even a little more. Sorry, those are really tight. So, um, yeah. So I've got a picture here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it really well or not. Um, no, nope, doesn't look like we're going to be able to. So basically the stitches are going, we've got a single crochet, half double crochet, uh, double crochet, and a triple crochet. And she's got very even stitching. So um, hers has been perfectly um, diagonal. All right, so it's really important that you understand that when you're doing you're doing graphs or convert, wanting to convert a graph. I don't mind answering questions. Please feel free to ask me. If I don't know, trust me, I'll research it. Um, I'm kind of like a knowledge buffer, I guess. Uh, I don't like not knowing things, so I don't have a problem looking things up and doing some research. So I, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, like I said, you can convert them if they're 120 by 120 depending on the stitch that you do when it comes to corner to corner because they're blocks of stitches. So they're supposed to be like even blocks, right? Um, same as you would be doing single crochet all the way across. But it's important that you understand you can't just convert one without thinking of the differences in height and, and uh, width of stitches. Um, I hope that's helpful for you. Um, this has been Bama from Bama's um, Crochet Creations. Thanks.